Mama ko. Nia. Nia. Good morning. Nia. Hello. Mama. Welcome back to another vlog. I finally was able to edit and upload that vlog that took me forever and it was also a lot of clips honestly of me talking because I just love talking. I am printing and cutting some July stuff and I'm also trying to prep for this release which is gonna be I'm aiming it to be on the 15th. I'm really hoping I can tackle that because it's already a Thursday so I have a couple of days to take pictures to gather up everything that I'm releasing and to have everything ready so I already have the listings for July up I've had that since last week but the other stuff I have to take pictures like I have made some new pins I have my usagi one like I was mentioning on my last releases I have my usagi I have my blueberry right here I don't know if you guys can see that but I have two of them and then I also added my gamer girl one which I have more of these so I have three new pins that I'm releasing and then the die cuts that I already had I was just gonna mention that I have them in two separate colorways and that I've added the Kirobi and the Hello Kitty design so I haven't really had time to draw this past couple of days I've been just playing catch up on a lot of things I feel like I don't have enough time for anything lately and also the transition of my husband's work schedule was also rough on us but now I think we're doing really good and he's been helping me a lot lately doing Mia's night routine so I can catch up on work. I think it took us about a week to get used to it but I think we're getting it. I also have to pack a couple of mystery bags to take pictures of and to list them and just to show them to you guys during the release. Sorry, I'm printing my july right now so it's gonna be going on all day i've been printing and cutting since yesterday since i only have one machine and i don't really have a high volume of orders when it comes to budgeting kits but i just like to make at least 20 pieces of each of my stuff so that's like 20 people ordering hopefully i have been getting more this year than i have last year and definitely more than last last year so i'm really happy that my stuff is growing but my husband doesn't have a day off till next week like he his day off is on a wednesday so that's like a whole entire week so we don't really have a lot of plans for the next couple of days so it's gonna be another like studio based vlog so i hope you guys don't get tired of that because i really like showing you guys what i'm releasing my process on stuff and i really like this color so like, look at this color scheme like i don't know if i can tilt it because it's gonna fall but there's like the red for sailor moon the blue for the blueberry girl and the purple for the gamer girl i also lowered the pin prizes they used to be nine dollars i lowered it by a dollar just to be like a little bit considerate of people because i wanted to be a little bit more affordable but then again it 
it takes a lot of money to manufacture these i buy separate colors for the backings and stuff so i really want to be cost effective but still giving you guys the best price for your buck i also got a question last time what color or what lip product i'm using i've been loving this i bought this a long time ago i think it was like um last year that i bought this i got it from jacqueline hill cosmetics this is one of her uh, I think liquid lip. I don't know what she exactly calls this, but I only have one color and I'm really looking at the other colors But this one is in the shade Krabby and at that time it was the only shade that was available that I liked But now she has a lot of her shades available again So I'm gonna try some of them, but this one is the one I'm wearing right now and I'm very pale just to let you guys know So that's what I'm using. They are $20, but I think it's a good price because I still have a lot of product in here and I have been using it a lot lately and it seems like it does transfer because I'm drinking coffee and you can see my lip stain right there. But that's basically what I'm doing today. Mia's taking her nap so I'm trying to just print and cut, print and cut. I'm also trying to corner punch these like I have a bunch of my Ziplocs. I corner punch them, like not corner punch but like I cut them with scissors so it's not so sharp when you guys receive them and i have a lot to do right here and then i also have to pin these pins so i just have a lot on my plate right now and trying to juggle them all together in my head it's just making it seems overwhelming so i don't think i'll come out with any girls right now i really want to draw and make more girls but like i said i have a lot to do other than that so i'm gonna go ahead and prep for the release i just wanted to update you guys and open this vlog because my niece and nephew are gonna be here for this weekend so there's not gonna be a lot of you know you and me talking it's just gonna be showing stuff i also am done with printing and cutting my may patreon rewards so i have my tracker here they're already laminated so that's what it looks like and then i have my die cuts i have this die cut right here and then i have this bouquet right here die cut which says mama on it i just realized though you guys are going to receive this and mother's day is already over so i think i'm going to try to ship this out now so maybe you guys can like journal or you know scrapbook with these and i have the sticker sheet too but i think i'm gonna stop making themed patreon stuff like for mother's day because i don't take into account like people that are not really close with their mothers or their fathers or don't celebrate christmas or you know i need to take that into accountable except for halloween like i will make a halloween themed patreon for october i think so you guys can use them for halloween but that's the only thing that i'm gonna do i need to take into account people that don't celebrate i'm not gonna do a fourth of july either because i do patreon for international people so they don't celebrate fourth of july so i think i am gonna take suggestions for my patreons i am gonna have a giveaway there this friday i'm gonna take a picture of what i'm giving away i just do small giveaways there just to thank the amazing people there that support me i just wanted to give you guys something in return so i'm gonna do a small giveaway there and then i'm also gonna take more suggestions like themed ones maybe like even pop culture maybe like a spongebob themed or a powerpuff girl themed or anime themed or you know we'll just make themed monthly rewards but we're not gonna focus on certain celebrations like you know mother's day father's day so there won't be a father's day themed one and there won't be like a christmas themed one i hope you guys understand but it's not too late to join my patreon if you are interested in these designs or this reward i will start packing them and start sending them out even though it's pretty early
guys today is may 16th it is a monday it is 10 o'clock at night we just had our dinner with mingo's parents because it was my father-in-law's birthday so we took him out for dinner um like a steakhouse so we really had a good time with family but i just filmed my little july releases because i'm pretty late on it but I just haven't had the time to film because there's always a lot of people here and when there's a lot of people here i can't film and you guys already know the situation it's hard to film like here in the room because me is sleeping in there it's just you know trying to drag my tripod everywhere or anywhere that i can film but i finally got it done so now i am editing and uploading it tonight hopefully my husband is watching over mia right now and doing her night routine so i can finish this because i did tell him that i have to release this tomorrow because i'm already late on it i like to have my releases on the 15th of every month and as you guys know today's already the 16th and i made a post to have it up on the 17th so i'm definitely going through with that everything is done like the listing is done it's just this video so i will still you know try to edit and upload it tonight but even then i will release it even without a video it's gonna be up and also we did like a spontaneous trip this weekend like this saturday and sunday my husband's off he's also off wednesday and thursday but this saturday and sunday we're going to the beach so i've only been to the beach once and mia has never been to the beach so we're going and it's so exciting um i can't go under the sun because i am albino if you guys didn't know i can't be in the sun for a long time so i have prepared like a hat everything i still have to pack everything sunscreen a lot of sunscreen and i already told them i'm probably not gonna swim i'm i never like swimming at all anyways when i was younger i loved it like back in the philippines i would always like swim everywhere even in like canals i would swim um but as i grew up it became more painful and painful to like swim because even just five minutes under the sun it would hurt me and like we said i'm more prone to like skin cancer if i go in the sun for a long time and i it's just not good for my skin swimming is not really my favorite thing and also like being under the sun but you know i like fairs and stuff um but not the swimming aspect but I think it's like a good memory to have with our family, with Mia, and I feel like we're all gonna enjoy it and even if I don't swim, there's gonna be a lot of people watching over Mia. My sister is coming too and also my husband's brother is coming and my mother and father-in-law. So my father-in-law actually uh, booked the, the night so he was the one that paid for the rooms so we just have to pay for food basically and there's no entrance fee so it's not that bad it's like over there it's like two and a half hours away but we'll definitely have fun and i'll vlog as much as i can but i'll take a lot of pictures but i wanted to update you guys that because it's kind of spontaneous so my files are still transferring so i'm gonna show you guys some stuff that i got from amazon i usually do hauls in my tiktok now so if you guys haven't checked it out it's a lot of sanrio items that I've done because I've been like super addicted to like Sanrio. Ow! So I've been like super addicted with the Sanrio items, but I got a couple of like regular items, I guess. And also, I got some stuff from Walmart. Actually, let me show you guys the stuff I got from Walmart first. So I have a lot of containers because I saw budgeting with Emmy. Um, I will put her little handle right here she also has a youtube channel and she also has a shop and i saw that she was doing her orders in this little baskets and i asked her where it was from and she said it was dollar general but i couldn't find it in my dollar general so i went to walmart and i also needed some stuff like little container thingies for my ikea alex drawers so i got several different kinds so i got this one this one was three dollars for two so this one I think is definitely going to my Alex drawer, but it is silicone and I also got some thin ones and this one is $3 as well, but it came with three and it's like skinnier and even if I don't use that for that, I can use that for the kitchen. You can never have too many containers and this one was a dollar for three. This one is a little square one 
and this one I got from Walmart these are the mainstay ones and I got a whole bunch of these mainstay basket ones that are bigger so I got like 11 of these I believe and they all came with two so that's like 22 of them and half of them will go for like orders because I usually get about 10 orders when I do a release I don't get like massive order amounts at a time and I do try to clear my queue as fast as I can but I have a lot and most of these will go to orders as well as my IKEA drawer right there because I have a lot of organizing to do and I do love organizing and whenever my sister does move out I will reorganize our pantry and our whole kitchen because we'll just you know split our food and we will see how much we have left but i bought these they are a dollar and something i'm sure they're like a dollar 19 something like that but they weren't very expensive because at first i had like 10 of these three dollar ones and then i found those at the very very back that i had to like go up the shelves and reach them like i had to like climb up the shelf because i'm small i'm like five five not that small but fairly small but the stuff i got from amazon i already opened one of the boxes. It had a lot of Mia's sleepers, so I got her three sets of two sleepers, like those blanket ones. They're called blanket sleepers, but they're just thicker than regular sleepers. But she needed them, so I got her those. And then I got some underwear. So these are five pack seamless underwear. So I do use a lot of underwear, like I changed you know this is tmi but i change underwears at night and i change them in the morning because i go to the bathroom a lot at night i i pee a lot so i just don't like the feeling of that but i do like the shower at night so it's kind of like in between so i like to feel clean in the morning so i i'm i'm trying these inexpensive underwears which feel really good honestly they have holes like like they're breathable right here so this kind of like seem big but you know at least they're comfortable so i think these are going to be like my night underwears and it would just be really comfortable to sleep in as well so that's a set of five i'm just like doing a lot of self-care items right now like especially with like hygiene and stuff and also getting old it's going to be my 30th birthday this year so i'm trying to take care of a lot of things in many different areas you know as we grow older we like to take care of things. but i got more containers this one i think i'm gonna return because i didn't find these at first and so i got desperate for my ikea drawers and then i ordered this on a whim this has one two three four five bins though and they look like this they're acrylic they seem really nice so i might keep them they were 15 dollars, so i might keep it I don't know i love like organizing things i just don't show you guys because i feel like i get more in the zone when i'm not filming and then last thing i got i think or not i don't even know what i ordered oh this one is like a earring tray like an earring stand actually so you guys won't see how it would look like but it's like an acrylic earring stand I got some earring fan last time but I returned that I didn't like the quality of it but I'm gonna try out this one acrylic seems to be my go-to and then the last thing I got are these brushes there's some pink brushes because mine are like super old like I've had them since 2017 I feel like so they're really old so I got these cheap ones from Amazon and hopefully you know they're good if not you know i'll just return them they're kind of soft but i mean i don't really have a lot of standards for makeup like especially brushes so i'll try those out my stuff isn't still done importing but that's all i'm going to show you guys i don't have any more actually it's a little bit later but we went to walmart earlier as well and we got a couple of things for our trip as well as our Six Flags trip because we they do have like a water park there and we also plan to swim there. So we got a couple of like summer themed items that we're going to use for both trips. But I just wanted to show you guys this and also to document this when I'm looking back at what we got before the trip and stuff like that. 
but I got some beach towels. I got one for my husband and one for me. But Mia and I are actually going to share this because she does need some beach towels. And it doesn't have to be like color specific. Like whatever we have since it's only one night. It's whoever's beach towel. It's fine. And then my husband got some swimming trunks because he really needed some swimming trunks. I got myself a pair of swimsuit. But I think I'm going to return that one because I already have mine. It's just it kind of doesn't fit the belly side because I have gain a lot of weight especially on the stomach area because I did have a baby so it of course my body changes but we'll see how that fits and how my old swimsuit fits but I didn't get a swimsuit I did get some slippers these are all from Walmart by the way these were three dollars we also got this beach laying area because we are going to a beach so there's gonna be sand and everything so we have that it's also waterproof supposedly and you can like twist it and then it can be like carried like this we got that from walmart i don't know if it's gonna work good or not we'll see but it's just good to have and then i got a lot of swimsuits for mia and they are not like the swimsuit types that are like two piece they are two piece but they're not like you know the ones that have a lot of skin um, not because I'm against it. She does have some swimsuits with her grandma that she is going to wear that's like that. But I was going to feel on how the temperature is. And I will probably switch out to these kind of short sleeve swimsuits with like these cute undies for her. I ordered her some waterproof like diapers on Amazon. I do have a lot of like Amazon stuff that's coming as well to prep for the two trips. And just to have like luggages. We don't have any luggages at all as a family so i ordered a set for all of us and then this one is my favorite this one says sun chaser and it's a long sleeve with the matching undies so it looks really really cute and it does look clothes right here but they are like swimsuit material and this one my husband picked out so he really liked this one with the blue and the flowers and it of course has the undies so those are all from Walmart and they were all under $10 so it was really really good and my mother-in-law suggested that we should get some water shoes for Mia. I did not know what they were but she said just in case Mia doesn't like the feel of sand because they took her to like a little play area before with sand she didn't like it. Um, we should put some water shoes on her so that's what we have right here that's also from Walmart and I figured since we are actually staying like right next to the kind of beach area um, if we decide to take a walk or something I got her some easy like slip-on sandals that she can easily put in if we decide to walk around and that would also work with the Six Flags trip moving on here there's like a couple of essentials uh, my husband actually put this together like this. It looked like we were endorsing it, but he was suggesting I should do a haul Which is kind of funny because he was never into things like that But he put this up like this. It's just tissue paper We just needed some tissue paper because the allergies are getting really bad for us And then here are just some essentials I got Mia some sunscreen the Aveeno and then I got myself sunscreen as well My husband picked this so this one is not going to be enough. I like the 100% one, so I might have to go to CVS and then he can use this himself. And I'm just going to go buy CVS and get some more for me. He got some deodorant for himself and I got some travel size tissue just up for on the go. And then we got these little sippy cups that Mia likes because her old ones are kind of getting torn, especially the uh, straw are getting torn. So we got her two. But that's most of the stuff we got. The other stuff we got were just snacks and the meal plan for the week because since we're spending money on food this weekend, we are eating in almost every day of the week. So I'll show you guys the Amazon stuff later on. So it'll be like a lot of hauls for this video. So I hope you guys are excited for like the little beach small trip that's like non-studio vlog related. I know you guys like my personal life as well and I do like to share them so I can look back and see what we did for the summer and some trips that we've done. I'm gonna, you know, go ahead and start working on my stuff some more. I have a couple of orders that I need to do. Um, I also got to this little stand, like earring stand. It doesn't like, twist, I thought it does, or like rotate, I thought it does, but it does have a lot of slots for the earrings so that would be really really useful for me 
and then here is like my tower of all of my containers that I got and then I got these things from Amazon you just stick it on like the wall not this one specifically but a wall and then the little knobs are for the necklaces and I have a lot of like dangly necklaces so I always lose them so it would be nice to have a place to put them on but I'm gonna wait till my sister does move because that's when we'll settle in the rooms that we're gonna go to and probably rearrange some things around so I'll wait but yeah let me do my orders and see what I can finish for the rest of the night because I am getting tired yeah Mia is already asleep right here and my husband's already asleep there with her like if you do this you'll see him he's right there <laughs> he's asleep so we do sleep all together but that is gonna change when my sister moves so we'll have more room